what we try to do across my research group is to try to develop robots that are able to help with the manual harvesting operations um, in horticulture. Uh, so we try to target things like picking of raspberries, picking of tomatoes. My name is Martin uh, Stoelen. Um, I'm a director of Fieldwork Robotics and I'm also a lecturer in robotics at the University of Plymouth. There's a lot of drivers behind um, farmers trying to automate more and more. Um, the, the, there are very tight margins, they're struggling with competition. It's sometimes difficult to get the seasonal uh, workers in um, because a lot of us don't really want to be out in the field and doing these jobs anymore. So I think there's a pull there from the, from the producers and then there's a push from the technology that this is now starting to become possible. We approach raspberries um, because we know it's a challenging crop. We felt that we had the technology to, to try to go for raspberries uh, using this variable stiffness robot arm um, and with some very delicate um, fingers that are able to, to handle the raspberry with the right pressure. Raspberries is a good start because it's if you can do that then you can probably also do some of the other similar ones like um, blueberries or blackberries or even in strawberries. The impact on agriculture is going to take many years to, to develop. We typically talk about five years to have a large industrial impact. Um, that's when you can expect to, okay, now we can start reducing seasonal labor, uh, etc. But for specific crops and specific producers, um, high value crops particularly, we, we can see that we, we're already at the stage where we can start talking about uh, bringing these platforms out to producers, operating them as a service over the next couple of years um, as, as kind of initial tests. The typical business model that we operate with is more to sell a service on a per kilogram basis. Um, and that means you're actually comparing the cost rather than the speed of each picking arm. Um, so, so you have to then compare the, how much does each arm cost, how many arms are on each platform, etc. And look at the overall uh, costing. So we're targeting right now 10 seconds per raspberry, per robot arm. If we assume that you're able to, to pick uh, every uh, 10 seconds, say, and you have four arms on each platform, each platform operates for 20 hours a day, etc., then you are talking about tens of thousands of individual raspberries per platform.